Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here with Mastercraft. I know I'm looking a little rough here, just uh, got back down into uh, Pasco County. I was up at my camp in North Florida. If you guys haven't been checking out those videos, uh, check them out, we're building a camp and a bunch of stuff up there. And uh, anyways, had the slab prep behind me here. I'm gonna walk you around and show you what they did. All right, guys, you're gonna see uh, all of this rebar sticking up here and you see the plumbing there and the last video we did i showed you where where the plumbing was placed and uh you'll see these uh forms along the edge here are actually the footers for the slab and then they have a moisture barrier a vapor barrier around the whole thing obviously is required so there's the garage it's going to be stepped down you can see there they'll pull that last This is the front porch area here. I believe this is a small bedroom here on this model. But we're just, uh, I'm gonna hop over here onto the slab. We're just continuing along here with the footer. And then this rebar here will carry up into the block work. And obviously we're gonna take you guys through the whole build here. Back porch. All right, so I'm gonna call in the inspection for the slab prep and then I gotta get the bonding wire put on. And I gotta have my electrician come in and run any conduit. I believe there's conduit that goes to the kitchen island here. So that's gotta be put underneath the slab as well so we're gonna go ahead and do that stuff and um catch up with you guys when we're here pouring see you then okay friends i've got my plans here and um just stick with me i'm going to show the slab getting poured here in just a sec but i do like to just cut in bring up the plans here in hopes that maybe you guys learn something from these videos um i don't claim to be the best teacher in the world but again just trying to provide as much value as I can here and um, without boring you to death. So I'll make this quick. Uh, I got my plans here and um, here's the foundation detail. I'm gonna blow it up here. I lost it. Um, I'm gonna blow it up here and you can see what I, what I was just showing you in the video are these footers along the sides and they go the whole way along the perimeter of the home. Okay, hold here and down. And then uh, take a break for the garage there and then you know over here where we started. So on the foundation detail, you're always going to have the details of the foundations. And here you're going to see a 12 by 24 with reinforced number five rebar. So the reason I wanted to show you this is because if you're trying to figure out the concrete on your own, you can go to these details here and then you can what you can do is jump over to a concrete calculator and there's a bunch of them online um this one here i've used quite a bit looks like it's calculator.net slash concrete dash calculator and so what you could do is break this up a little bit you can first do your footing so in this case i don't know the linear feet um i didn't want to again bore you to death and add that all up but let's just say it would be sev just for easy math here 75 feet okay and then the width would be 24 inches and then 12 inches deep so we could calculate um, that we would need almost six yards just to do the footings okay then we can go ahead and uh, you know, calculate the square feet of all the other space left, subtracting the footers. And then your depth is going to be whatever slab you're doing, four inch, etc. I want to say this slab, if, if I remember correctly, was between 55 and 60 total yards. So again, you could just jump back over to the calculator and just let's say you had a four inch slab 
And again, just for easy math, let's just say you had uh, 40 feet by 30 feet. And there you have uh, 14, looks like almost 15 yards. Um, and again, I didn't count the garage in there. Just, uh, you know, that would be a rough, a 1,200 square foot home there. So, uh, in any case, hope you learned something there. And again, you can just play around with this stuff. You can use it for calculating smaller projects, patios, sheds, you know, whatever it is you're pouring. So, uh, makes it easy these days. All right, let's go back and uh, let's check out the foundation getting poured. All right, friends. I uh, got some clips of the actual pouring for you. I did not film as much as I wanted to here. Uh, it was a cold morning, and they actually called me and said they were pouring, and I wasn't expecting it, so I just didn't even have time to get a camera set up. And then I got into a deep discussion with the uh, pump operator about kids and schooling, and so I just kind of got distracted uh, but I did uh, pull up my phone and get a couple little clips here they started in the corner over there and you'll see here in a second that uh, they're kind of working their way around and then they starting some screening here what they did then was worked up that side of the house and then over to the middle and then poured the garage last, which I do not have on film. I apologize. The next home build, I'll make sure I get the whole thing for you. But these guys were really, really good. Um, probably best crew I've had in a while. Um, they were using their laser level the whole time and just um, really had a lot of attention to detail, which I appreciated. All right, friends, and then uh, here is just some pics that uh, I actually had to get from my father of the finish slab uh, because I was going to go up and get a nice drone shot of the whole thing, but I just didn't have time. I was working at the camp up in North Florida, which if you guys haven't seen those videos, check them out. Uh, we're doing a whole cabin build and a whole camp build, shed, all kinds of things up there. And anyways, uh, there's the brush finish on the back porch. And uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button. And, uh, and always let me know if there's some things that you all want to see or if there's some things that I can be doing better. All right? Take care, everyone.